Kevin, but you're going to go through some other graphs you just need to know. So it'd be a good idea to make notes on this, make a nice page of A4 notes with all these different graphs on so you know you can recognise them when they come up. So we've done, obviously, a straight line graph, an x squared graph, what about an x cubed? x to the power of 3 graph. Okay, well, just roughly. A x to a 3 graph is going to look something like this. Okay? Basically, for all intents and purposes, fairly similar to an x squared graph there. Obviously, you've got the bucket there. Now, this could look slightly different. You could get a bump in it. So, it could bump like that. And obviously, if it was a minus, you could get it coming the other way. So that's an x cubed graph. Now there of the form a x cubed plus b x squared plus c x plus d, where d's the or anything we remember, d's where it crosses the y-axis. But again, it's just sort of a, adding an, one more term on to our previous, previous graphs that we remember. So that's an x cubed graph. Okay, what about a y equals one divided by x, so a reciprocal graph, that's what we call this. Now that look pretty funny. That's gonna look like this basically. It's an inverse proportion graph. That's it, you just need to be able to recognise that. If you see something like this, it's gonna be y equals one over x. If we want the, the negative y equals minus something over x, it's just going to be in here. It's going to be the other way around. Okay, so y equals 1 over x, it's going to be like that. y equals minus 1 over x, it's going to be something like that. Okay, and the next thing we've got is a power or exponential. So, y equals some letter, some number, sorry, k to the power of x. So basically that's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. So it's going to start here and it's going to just rock it like that, off towards infinity. So that's what our exponential graph would look like. So you just need to be able to look at all those different types of graph and say what they are, they come up. The last graph we'll look at, just quickly, is a circle. So what would the equation of a circle be if we can do it as a graph? So I'm going to draw a very bad circle. So y x or x. Okay, so there's our circle. Circles are nice and easy. Circle centered about the origin, okay? y squared plus x squared equals radius squared. Okay? So if I know that the equation of this graph is y squared plus x squared equals 100, pretty obvious there, the radius equals the square root of 100, so which equals 10. So I can immediately say that that's going to be 10. Minus 10. It's going to be 10. Be minus 10 because the center's here, so all our radius is all the way around. That's basically it. There's a few questions on these in the booklet, so have a go at those. And that's just our recognizing graphs section done now. Uh, there's two more things we'll look at with graphs, and then we'll be all finished.